Hey there, hope you're having a terrific day. Have you been hearing about the difference between a theme and a goal and want to know exactly what that is? Or have you been looking at goals and seeing that, man, they really take you out of the present moment and they don't really allow you to accept the as is? Well, a theme is a perfect solution for that. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between a theme and a goal and diving deeper into exactly what a theme is and how that can help you stay present and focused. Hi there and welcome to the Bookstores Club where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. Today's featured book is Choose Yourself by James Altucher and today's inspirational thought comes to us on page number 105. It says, Make the list right now. Every dream. I want to be a best-selling author. I want to reduce my material needs. I want to have freedom from many of the worries that I have succumbed to all my life. I want to be healthy. I want to help all of the people around me or the people who have come into my life. I want everything I do to be a source of help to people. I want to only be around people I love, people who love me. I want to have time for myself. These are not goals. These are themes. Every day, what do I need to do to practice those themes? It starts the moment I wake up. Who can I help today? I ask the darkness when I open my eyes. Who would you have me help today? I'm a secret agent and I'm waiting for my mission, ready to receive. This is how you take baby steps. This is how eventually you run toward freedom. What is the difference between a goal and a theme? A theme is an idea that recurs or pervades work or art. And recur is a thought, an image, or a memory, or to come back to one's mind. And pervade is present or apparent throughout. It's an idea that influences every action and thought because it floods your entire being and affects every decision. A theme is becoming something first and then the action just follows that. A theme isn't something that you obtain. It's something that you commit to being in the present moment and then move forward with that new paradigm. If you're still a little confused about the difference between a theme and a goal, a couple of examples would be that if you want to set a goal to be healthy and to work out and eat right, then the theme would be, I am grateful for my body and I'm going to show gratitude for my body and I'm going to be a good steward of my body in every way, shape and form. Another example would be that if you wanted to be on time for all of your commitments, the theme would be, I respect others time and I am aware and respect the passing of time. Goals are a terrific thing because they help us to grow and evolve, but we've also been told that we should be in the present moment at all times. And sometimes goals can kind of take you away from that. In fact, Nicholas Gook said that a goal is an external constant that you can't control. A theme is an internal variable that you can. A goal forces you to think about where you want to go and a theme keeps you focused on where you are now. And I really truly believe that I, I, I have seen the conflict. I've had the conflict myself. How on earth are you supposed to accept the as is of the present moment, the now, and have goals where you're actually wanting something outside of what the present moment is is saying that you have right now. How on earth are you able to do both things at the same time? I think a theme is a great way of achieving both those things where you are changing and you're changing for the better and your future self will have different circumstances like what you could achieve in your goal, but you're still staying present. And I think that that is a great way of having those two things come together and for that question to be answered. If this helped you to look at goal setting in a unique and different way, I know it definitely was for me, very eye-opening. I would love to hear about that in the comments. If there was a different take that you had on this part of the book that I shared, a different part in that book or a different book entirely, please let me know about that in the comments. Thank you so much for clicking the like button if you like this video and found it valuable and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell if you're new because I post new videos just like this every single day. See you tomorrow, bookstores. So what is it, don't say so, that recurs or pervades, recurs or pervades work or art? What does recur mean? It means a thought, dia, 
as an idea that recurs. And recur means to, occur means of, an idea, it's an idea that floods, it's an idea that influences. It's an idea, yeah, I did it, okay. Commit to being in the present. If it, <clears throat> the goal that you want, okay. Respect the time and I respect and I am aware and respect. So you can leave it and move on because it wasn't all that bad. Yeah, that was fun.